Hello guys, welcome to Light Guidance Oracle. Thank you for being here with me. Today I have another reading for you. These are the messages from the planets. And why is that? On June 24th this year, five planets were in conjunction. What does it mean? It means they aligned in one straight line and it was visible on the sky uh, that was a sort of gathering of the planets last time they did that was in 2004 and the next meeting is due 2040 now we have 2022 and the planets after this gathering have some special messages for you that's why I did this reading. The planets were Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. So pretty important planets and they all have messages for you. So to make it easier for you, I have divided this reading into three groups. This is a pick a pile reading and to help you choose, I have drawn out some runes they will complement the message as well for group number one we have rune ehvas for group number two we have rune raido and for group number three we've got the rune urus Take a deep breath, connect to your intuition, see and feel which pile is calling out to you, and I will see you in the second. The timestamps are in the description. Hello, pile number one. These are your messages from the planets. As I said, the next meeting is due 2040. So I feel that this message is a very wide message or it can be specific because this is a more or less a timeless reading. However, I feel that it is about something uh, happening between years 2022 and 2040 since the next meeting is in 2040. Okay, pile one. Let's start with the energy of your room, Ehfaz. This room traditionally symbolizes a horse. So this room is connected with movement, changes, but changes that we welcome. Uh, it is a new way of life in partnership and trust. Imagine a trust between a horse and a rider. This is a fluent cooperation, okay? This is without words. It's more energy based. Oh, your flame is flickering, so I guess this is important. It is about a bond with someone maybe multiple people and the body language and energy and the vibes you and they sent out is very very important okay but there is a lot of trust there is a lot of cooperation and forward movement good changes okay good changes this is the topic of your reading okay let's see what your cards say Oh, you've got the moon, you've got Virgo, and third house. Okay, let me grab my wand and channel this message for you. Okay, 
So as I said, you have the moon, Virgo, and third house. The moon is about the emotions and mysteries. So we already have a beautiful synchronicity with Ephas. So within this connection, and I was talking about, remember about your emotions and emotions of others. This is what I'm feeling. So let me read the messages that we have on the cards and then I'll feel if something else comes up. First message for you is defend the serving of others by making the right connections. Hmm, okay. Defend the serving of others by making the right connections. So this is the first message. Take whatever resonates. This is an express reading. I'm going to be reading the messages from the planets. They are very wide. You need to adjust them to your situation since this is a collective reading, having in mind the energy of Ephas, and then you will understand everything. Okay, I will repeat the first message and get to the other ones. Defend the serving of others by making the right connections. Okay, another message. Accept the details of the idea in question. So maybe you have some question and you need answers and you don't get them. So from this message, I'm getting that you need to focus on the idea more. Okay, next message. Let your feelings tell you how to do what you must do and get your ideas going. I think this one is pretty simple. Okay, let's reverse the cards because we have more messages on the bottom. Okay. Next message, the nurturing of methods for the healing power of your ideas. See your ideas in cooperation with other people um, while implementing those ideas in life are very important and don't give up on them. This is what I see because your idea has a healing power. So this is pretty strong, okay? Believe in yourself and in your ideas. Okay, next message says, feelings caused by the analyzing of short-term thinking and trips. Okay, so you have some feelings, I said, the moon, feelings, emotions, and you need to analyze uh, the way you're thinking. I'm seeing that the planets are implying that you're working on things that are short term and maybe that makes you feel not good. Maybe you want something else or maybe this is about something entirely different for you since this is a general reading. Okay, uh, the next message we have reactions resulting from the perfectionism of who or what is around you. Again, connections, right? So, when you react in a specific way to someone's action uh, or to someone just as they are, I'm hearing that you're looking for something perfect and maybe that's why you react so harshly. That's for some of you. But yeah, meditate on that. Reactions resulting from the perfectionism of who or what is around you. So it is important uh, who you surround yourself with. Okay, so take a look at that. Okay, maybe I will read your messages without talking about them one more time. I'm, I'm feeling that you need to hear them one more time. Okay, let's go. Defend the serving of others by making the right connections. Accept the details of the idea in question. 
Let your feelings tell you how to do what you must do and get your ideas going. The nurturing of methods for the healing power of your ideas. Feelings caused by the analyzing of short-term thinking and trips. Reactions resulting from the perfectionism of who or what is around you. Okay, pile number one. This is your message from the planets. It's about connections and ideas and emotions. So those are your messages from the planets about things happening between 2022 and 2040. If you are interested in some other readings to clarify that or other topics, uh, some other readings will be listed down below and at the end of this video for your convenience. Pile 1. If this resonates with you, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, find me on Facebook and Instagram, and that way you will be able to win a free private reading with me. All the details are in the description box. And here is a little instruction of how to win. If you'd like to know who won private reading giveaway, I'm announcing the winners on my social media and on community board on YouTube. So uh, make sure you check them frequently. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, light and everything good. Hello, pile number two. These are your messages from the planets. These messages are timeless. However, I'm feeling that the planets are telling you something about being a relationship or your life in general. Take whatever resonates. That is happening between 2022 and 2040. As I said in the intro, the next meeting of planets is due 2040, so I can feel that this message is very wide. So, as always, take whatever resonates. Let's start with the energy of your rune. The rune is Raido. It's a rune associated with forward movement traveling so between between years 2022 and 2040 you might be traveling a lot and your life is going to move forward it's kind of like a chariot let's say in tarot if some of you are into that uh, this is about change but forward movement development and safe travels to be uh, short about it because runes have a lot of a lot of meanings so you are going to have a clear goal that's what this rune says between years 2022 and 2040 so let's see what messages do we have from the planets oh you have mercury so communication will be very important for you you've got aries and you have the sixth house. Let me grab my wand and I will channel this message for you. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here, communication will be important for you. Communication, work, and like you got Aries, fire energy. So it will be movement. I feel like you, some of you felt stuck for some years and now things are starting to happening. I, I feel that you, you kind of were blocked to say what you really want to say because of fear or 
because you were not sure of yourself. Take whatever resonates, but now it is ending. You are like an Aries. Aries is a first zodiac sign. So I'm thinking, I'm feeling that you are going to start new things or be very innovative. Yeah, that's a possibility. Okay, let me read you your messages. Listen to the words carefully. Take them as they resonate and you will get the message that is just for you. Okay, first message. Communicate your willpower as a full-time job. <laughs> wow. For some of you, I'm seeing that you're going to lead people in a new direction, okay? This moving forward, the chariot, people are going to follow, okay? So communicate your willpower. It's For me, it's like you're going to lead people in a new direction and it is very important. Okay, analyze what you think you know about serving. Okay, see, that's why I felt that you're going to lead people because you are going to serve them. And But first, you need to know what it is to serve, really, okay? So you're going to be in a position of power and it will be new for you. So you need to know how to serve for the good of the world, of people and for your own good, okay? So for the good of all the people involved in the situation, your situation. Okay, let your mind tell you how to do it your own way and do it a little at a time, okay? I'm feeling from this sentence that some of you are rushed, you are not patient, and the planets want you to be patient. One step at a time. This whole new beautiful cycle is opening up for you, okay? But do it slowly so it won't overwhelm you. I'm seeing that you're going to have an important role. Some of you even for your country or the world with those planets. You're making a change. So let your mind tell you how to do it your own way and do it a little at a time. Okay. Let's move to more messages. Oh, sorry. I moved the camera. <laughs> okay. The next message is the awareness of energies to meet the challenge of service to others. See, the service to others is coming up frequently here. So, that's why I'm implying that uh, you are going to have an important role in your community, in your town, in your country, in the world. Take whatever resonates. But something important is happening. It's starting and you are jump-starting it. Okay? So be aware of the energies and the challenges. Because you're going to be very... You're going to need to be very centered. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Many thoughts about or from your desires regarding what is good for us. Okay, for us. What is good for us? Oh, singles out there. I'm seeing a love match here. A very, like a power couple. Take whatever resonates. Of course, it's not for everybody. But I'm seeing a power couple who is changing your world. That's one possibility. A world, a town your world, your micro world, take whatever resonates, but yes. And I'm seeing that you or you and your partner, it can be romantic, it can be business partner, take whatever resonates. You both are good people and you want to change the world for the better. Okay, that's why what is good for us. You can also be asking what is good for us if this is about a relationship, a romantic relationship, okay? So as always, take whatever resonates and 
many thoughts about or from your desires regarding what is good for us. Okay, the next message. Many words resulting from the honesty and strength of your work. See, this message is very clear and consistent. You are going to change some system, a place, or maybe a workplace, or a wider area with your actions, with communicating your willpower, right? You want to change something because it's not working anymore and you're starting to do so okay and yeah you want to be fast do it all at once that's why it's we have what i do but the planets are asking you to be patient okay let me repeat all your messages maybe when you hear them again you will understand something that is deeply hidden within yourself and only you can understand it Okay, communicate your willpower as a full-time job. Analyze what you think you know about serving. Let your mind tell you how to do it your own way and do it a little at a time. The awareness of energies to meet the challenge of service to others. Oh, uh, energetic protection here, I've heard. Energetic protection is important for you. Uh, I have a meditation with uh, Archangel Michael to feel safe. Uh, if you feel like this resonates with you, I will put the link down below for your convenience. Okay, the awareness of energies to meet the challenge of service to others. Many thoughts about or from your desires regarding what is good for us. Many words resulting from the honesty and strength of your work. Okay, pile two. Those are your messages from the planets. If this resonates with you, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, find me on Facebook and Instagram, and that way you will be amongst those who can win a private reading with me. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing a private reading, all the details are in the description. Feel free to check them out. And here is a little instruction on how to be Amongst those who have a chance to win a free reading giveaway, I am announcing the winners on my social media and on community board on YouTube, so uh, be sure to check them frequently. Pile 2, thank you for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and everything good. Hello, pile number 3. These are your messages from the planets. As I said in the intro, they had a meeting. The next one is due 2040. So I'm feeling that this message is about a period between 2022 and 2040. So it's very wide. Take whatever resonates with you as always. Let's start uh, with the energies of the rune that you felt connected to, you've got Urus. This is the second rune. Oh, I see a number two. We'll see what the card says, but I'm feeling partnership, okay? But this rune is symbolized by bull traditionally, so maybe you are a Taurus, or maybe you have Taurus, uh, in your birth chart somewhere or you might be an earth sign but rune urus is about good health being happy being fulfilled uh, so all those things are coming your way uh, this is about strength and strong willpower likable 
and this rune carries a message that says that oh okay wait it says have courage to let go of things that no longer serve you and that way you will open the door to a new stage of your life okay thank you nice energies i like it okay let's see what cards do you have oh you have saturn so it's going to be about structures for you you got leo oh structures ego and leadership mm -hmm. and you got the tenth house so this is more career oriented since we have Saturn, Leo and the 10th house. Saturn is structures, Leo, as I said, leadership, ego. 10th house is about your work life, your career. So yeah, those are the topics, main topics for you for the period of 2020 to 2040. Okay. Let me take my wand and I will channel this message for you. Okay. So there's cards have messages on them. Those are the messages from the planets. I will read them to you and see if anything else comes up. When I read them, focus on how you feel. Maybe you will see something with your third eye when I'm reading that. Um, since this is a collective reading, take whatever resonates with you. Okay. Be realistic about leadership responsibly. So from this, I'm saying that you might take a new job position or maybe a new job. Uh, you're going to be in a position of power okay because we have leadership right so um but you gotta be realistic about it maybe when you were a kid you were like oh, i'm gonna be the boss i'm gonna do whatever i want and now you're becoming a boss and you're saying that it's not that easy okay you need to be it's go gonna like bring you down to earth see earth uh that le leadership is not always about just having the biggest salary and being the most important right leo that's a life lesson for you guys okay that leadership takes responsibility and that's realistic about it okay okay your next message is be concerned about the creativeness of success hmm so, I'm saying that yeah, you're in a position of power, you are developing your career. This is a very career-related uh, um, reading for me, but always take whatever resonates. Or if I'm hearing if this don't resonate with you at all, check some, uh, check other uh, groups. It might happen. So, be concerned about the creativeness of success. So I'm seeing that you're getting into this uh, re leadership position, but you got to be creative. You got to be creative on how to make a success in this position because it's not going to be easy, but you can do it when you're creative, okay? I'm hearing that if you're a Leo, uh, it's going to be a bit easier for you if you're a Leo, okay? Next message, you must wait before you can do what you want to and become a person of power and status, okay? So we got another lesson of patience, perseverance. You got to be realistic, you got to be creative, you got to be responsible, okay? And you need to learn all those things. That's why you gotta wait before you become a person of power and status. But I think this implies you will, okay? If you learn to be realistic, responsible, creative, okay? Let's flip those to see more messages. 
Okay. The maturity that brings self-confidence to create your destiny. Wow, see? What did I say? You are gaining maturity. You are learning how to be a leader, how to be creative, how to create your own success, okay? And you're gaining the maturity that brings self-confidence to create your destiny. I don't think I have to explain that one. <laughs> okay, next one. Caution regarding taking a chance on where you're going. Mm, so, between 2022 and 2040, mm, you need to be cautious about taking chances, okay? Not No taking chances uh like on a spree okay it's too important for you to be uh, spontaneous about it okay you gotta be uh cautious you gotta be mature uh, with your life path and with your choices and the last message Limits imposed resulting from the impressiveness of your career. Hmm. That's a weird message, right? Limits imposed resulting from the impressiveness of your career. Hmm. I'm seeing that maybe you will reach a point where you're successful, self-confident, mature. And this job will teach you all of that, will give you a lot of abundance and stability. I'm seeing the sun, so it is success. But then it, when you reach that point, you will see its limitations, okay? You will see the other side. Oh, I don't know if you heard that bird quacking, but it was super loud. I guess it's a sign. So you will see that your career is not everything, okay? You will get it. Don't get me wrong. You will get it. But it will teach you something that you don't know yet. That power and career is not everything, okay? And that being in a high power position limits you in some ways too. So, yeah, those years are going to be a very important lesson for you. Okay, pile three. Interesting messages, I must say. If this resonates with you, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, find me on Facebook and Instagram, and that way you will be amongst those who can win a private reading with me. If you are interested in purchasing a private reading, all the details are in the description box. Feel free to check them out. And here is a little instruction on how to win a free reading giveaway. Pile number three. Thank you for watching. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and everything good.